Ladies and gentlemen, we're going on a little roller coaster today. Now, you might puke up with this one. You, In fact, you might even have to have the sick bag ready. I'm going to show you a video here, and we're going to go through it, guys, and find tooth comb. This guy is the most disgusting, sleazy, creepy man that has joined forces with the Dark Lord of the Sith. I mean, if you wanted to replace General Grievous in Star Wars, I think this guy would have been more evil. And I'm, I'm not joking you here. He would have given you the more ooh, creeps, spine tingling. It's disgusting. Kenneth Copeland, the pastor, the scam artists of scam artists in America. This guy spreads the word of God. He loves us all. He's doing God's work. He'll pray for us. What? Well, he's picking your pocket too, by the way. And I'd keep my eye on this guy. I wouldn't have your kid around this fella. Keep a really good close eye on this guy. Honestly, I'd even put my kid on a leash. All right? A six inch leash. I wouldn't... I wouldn't let him shake hands with anyone that I'd know. This guy, this guy, this, he makes me physically sick. And then sometimes you're actually laughing at the guy. So guys, we're going to go into a video here now. I'm going to show you. And this is a news journalist. She's interviewing him. She's running up to him because she's wondering, why do you have private jets? What is the reason? Can you not do your work? Or, you know, she wants, she wants to get to the bottom of some things. So, of course, we have this guy now, <laughs> defensive. He's wondering what to do. He's trying to box himself out of a corner. Let's go. We'd just like to ask you about why you don't want to fly commercial. Why have you said that you won't fly commercial? You said that it's like getting into a tube with a bunch of demons. Why do you think well, that? No, listen to me just a second. Of course. Not the people. The main reason is because of the need. If, if I flew commercial, I'd have to stop 65% of what I'm doing. So yeah, guys, a little more of a backstory here. He actually said in, in an interview with somebody that he won't fly commercial because he doesn't want to be in there with the demons. He actually said this with a journalist. And then he's on about 65%. That is the biggest load of crap you've ever heard in your life. Can you imagine? What is he? Is he flying into Area 51, s uh, worshipping and, and blessing everybody down there and the aliens too? Is that what he's up to here? I mean, wh where is he flying into? Where is his secret access? VIP access? What, commercial flights don't go everywhere around the world? Uh, yeah, they do. Ken, what is up with this guy? Let's see more money did you pay for Tyler Perry's Gulfstream jet, for example? Well, for example, that's really none of your business, but... Isn't it the business of your donors? Listen, I paid. <laughs> you kind of caught me off guard here, okay? Off guard? More like his pants is down between his ankles, man. He got caught rotten here. Do you know how much a second-hand Gulfstream they're even saying here, guys? A Gulfstream G550 costs between 12 million for a 2003 model and 35 million for a 2020 model. I only just did a very, very quick Google search on that, and that's the kind of price you're probably looking at. I mean, look, it's certainly not going to be a couple of hundred thousand. We're talking millions. And this guy, oh, and you can see he's stumbling, he's hesitating now. He can't get out of this, can he? Is he going to try? Let's have a look. Certainly. If you'd like to come out here, I'd like to give you a chance to, to catch your breath and, and have a conversation. We don't, want to, we don't want to catch you off guard. I love Inside Edition. you got to get this now. Hey, you listen to me? My, my wife thinks Inside Edition is, oh, yeah. <laughs> now, thank you, Lord. Help me. Just, let me. Let me pray this thing. Well, let me, let me just ask you a really simple question. A lot of people think it's unbecoming for a preacher to live a life of luxury and to fly around in private jets. What's your response to that? Very simple. It takes a lot of money to do what we do. We have brought over a hundred, let's see, this, the latest figures just came out, uh, 122 million people to the Lord Jesus Christ. 
This guy's like Pinocchio. The nose is just getting longer minute by minute here. I mean, the amount of crap he is throwing out. 122 million people, right? Now, lads, America. Population of, what, over 300? Don't quote me, guys, on that one, but it's around about that. Obviously, I'm in Ireland, so I don't know 100%. But, you know something? If that was the case, he got to... 122 million people that's over a third of the population he'd be super viral he'd be everywhere everywhere how where is he getting these figures seriously 122 million people the airplane that we have that i bought from tyler perry and i didn't pay anywhere and tyler's one of the greatest guys he made it he made that airplane so cheap for me, I couldn't help but buy it. Well, there you go, lads. There you go. He had to buy it. It was so cheap. It was such a great deal, right? I mean, come on. You gotta start spending money, people. Get together. Let's, let's, come on. Let's keep moving here, guys. This guy's got important work. He's spreading God's word. He's, he needs, he needs that private jet. And in fact, why wouldn't he buy the jet? It was such a great price. Man, you know, if we could all use that angle with a lot of different things in our life, can you imagine what your friends would say, even your family would say, if you came back and, well, hey, mom, I bought a Ferrari today, but, you know, oh, it was such a great deal, I had to get it. Or maybe what you could have done, Kenneth, is actually give it back to the people. Maybe that would be a nice thing, huh? Give it to the charities. Give it to the poor people that don't have houses at the moment. Do you ever think of that one? Well, my question then, well, 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 okay, all right, but I want to get to the demons because people are very concerned about that comment. Give me a chance here, Inside Edition. Okay. I love your eyes. And uh, we flew in 21 days, 70 hours. 40,000 miles, touched five continents, and preached face-to-face, -face personally, with 125,000 people. Oh, did you see he's going in with the charm, lads? Yeah, look at him. Oh, man. Jack Nicholson, Marlon Brando, these boys. Step back, boys. We've got the charmer of the century. See the way he comes in? You've lovely eyes here, girl. You got lovely eyes, honey. Oh, I mean, it's so obvious what he's doing. And she's not falling for this crap. Seriously? And then, you know, I've just done the math here, right? He's on about 125,000. But then a minute ago, he was saying 122 million people. But now it's 125,000. Now, if I divide 122 million by 125,000, that's 967. So he's confusing me here, right? But if I'm getting this guy right on what he's saying, even though I, crap is coming out of his mouth, that means $976 people were giving him per person. 125,000 people. Even though it was 122 million a few minutes ago. Huh, this isn't adding up. Ever use your private jets to go visit your vacation homes, for example? Yes, I do. Okay. okay. Again, getting back to the comment, you said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. <laughs> Well, obviously, you've got to use your private jet to fly to your multiple homes across the world. I mean, seriously, journalists, what's wrong with you? In fact, you know, guys, this journalist, I mean, what an asshole of a woman. Jeez, I mean, can't believe that question. How dare her? And then, oh, she's oh, getting sick. And then he starts to turn on her. See, he's getting angry now. He's getting pissed. He's nearly, he's, he's pushed on the edge here, man. He's pushed on the edge. Do you see that just evil, evil look in his eyes? I mean, I'm expecting to see red lasers coming from his eyes or yellow lasers. I mean, th th he's a dark lord of the Sith. 
guys. He's a perfect character. George Lucas messed up, man. He messed up. He should have got this guy as one of his villains. What you meant by that, yeah. that by that term then. Just, just explain, because it's really simple. You said you didn't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. What did you mean? The, well, let me ask you. Do you think that let people that fly commercial are demons? Give me a chance to talk, sweetheart. I'll explain this to you. But it's a biblical thing. It's a spiritual thing. It doesn't have anything to do with people. People, I love people. Jesus loves people. She's not letting him get away with this, is she? She just keeps going back to the original question, and the guy just won't answer it. He just is avoiding this like the plague. Deflect, deflect, and after deflect, deflect some more. And he loves people? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does. He loves their big bank accounts. And that's about it, right? loves people get pushed in alcohol do you think that's a good place for a preacher to be and prepare to go preach to a lot of people when somebody in there is dragging some woman down an aisle it made me so mad to see that on television i wanted to punch the guy out myself i can't be doing that while i'm getting ready to preach so you just don't like to be around the sinful people or the the hurtful people is that what you're saying not the people baby not the people. Back during the days that we couldn't do anything else, we had to travel commercial. Oh, gee, what's he talking about, man? What is he talking about? I'm lost. I'm confused. I don't know where to go with this. But I do know he's completely full of crap here and he's just going in off some random direction here. Oh, we're going to nearly pack this up in a sec. We wrestle not with people, but with principalities and powers, unseen things, rulers of the darkness of this world. Talking about the devil, he's a very real devil, just the same as Jesus is a very real Lord. Lines. Besides that, I need my clothes when I get there. And, so, and you have some fancy clothes. I mean, I for a pastor, you are living yes. a life of luxury. Yes, you've am. got great homes. You've got yes, great planes. Do. You, you drive in limos. I'm a and very wealthy man. You're a very wealthy man. Yes. Guys, you'd always see this type of person out in the world, you know? Like, there is evil in the world, and this guy is right there, baby. He's playing dice with the devil every day. This guy is actually proud of himself. This guy wants to rub it in everyone's face how much money, how much beautiful clothes he has, how much money he has. He's just like... He's like a dog on a leash here. He's, he's holding back a little bit. But you can tell, like, keep an eye on his face here. He wants to rub it in your face. I'm the multimillionaire. I'm the billionaire, whatever it is. This guy is... Uh, I, I, my wealth doesn't come from offerings alone. Because you sell things, books and DVDs. Yes, and I have a lot of natural gas on our property. Didn't know that, did you, babe? Now I do. Yeah, you do. Isn't that wonderful? So final question is, a lot of people maybe have a misunderstanding then about what you do in prosperity preaching. Yeah. So the final question is this. To those critics that say that a preacher should not be living a life of luxury, what is your response to that? They're wrong. Oh, this is where I get raged, lads. Can you imagine going around to all your friends or family and saying to people, you know, guys, I deserve to be rich. And hey, maybe you do, right? Maybe you're a really hardworking guy. You're a clever guy or a girl, right? And you know, you do things and you've just had a little bit of bad luck every now and then. But people don't go around bragging that, well, yeah, should have money, right? And you see the big smile on his face? I mean, can you imagine you're sitting in the bar with all your friends and if you came out with something like this with an answer the way he's come out with, your friends would probably smack you in the face. 
You know, like, they, they probably wouldn't want to talk to you ever again. Like, oh, gee, Peter's full of crap, lads. Listen, he's delusional. Get away from him. Or they'd be, they'd be going around telling everybody. Like, they'd be saying, hey, did you just hear what Peter said? Oh, my God, lads. I, okay, listen, we're, we're, we're done. This is our last night out with him forever again. Both of my grandfathers were preachers. They were both very poor. They lived simple, modest lives. They were extremely offended by men that made money like you do, preaching like you do. What would your response be to people that think that preachers shouldn't live this kind of a lifestyle? Folks like my, both my grandfathers. And I understand that. And I love them with all my heart. It's, it's your grandfathers that we're standing on their shoulders. Oh, God. Her poor grandfathers, man, are turning in their graves. They are coming back from the dead and going after this guy. Can you imagine hearing that? And he loves them. Oh, yeah, Kenneth. I can feel the love from Ireland here, lad. Oh, man. You're warming my heart. In fact, I'm getting out my donation box. Sir, thank you so much for your time What's today. Your name? Lisa Guerrero. Lisa? God bless. Father bless Lisa today. Thank you for her grandparents. Yeah, we've definitely seen enough of this asshole, guys. You know, I think there's a bit of a lesson that we could all try and remember here. I mean, you know, there is people out there that are pure evil. And they come in disguise as the wonderful, beautiful people. A lot of people try and do scams like that. The wolf comes in sheep's clothing. Isn't that the saying? Maybe I got that wrong. But, you know... We have to remember that there is evil in the world, and this guy is pure, pure evil. And it's not only that, he wants to rub it in your face that he's loaded and he's cunning. In fact, I bet if he could actually take off all the leashes here, right, and go crazy and say exactly what he wanted to say, I bet you this guy would love to shout from the rooftop and say, I'm fooling all of you suckers. I'm taking all your cash and I'm going home. Can't you see it happen? Uh, th there is people like this out there. Psychology would tell you this. So, yeah, guys. <sighs> hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're not getting sick. I'll be back. Peter. Wah, 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 wah.